in a broad sense, there are really kind of two types of people that I work with or leaders that are kind of out there. Those are folks, some of those folks are laying the tracks and some of those folks are riding the trains. And typically you find that as a leader, you're either good at one of those or the other, or you're naturally drawn to one of those over the other. Now, what do I mean by each of those two things? So a person who lays the tracks is a trailblazer. They're the person who has the vision, the energy, the idea, the innovation, the insight that gets them and makes something new, exciting and different. They set up that new business. They create a new market. They invent a new category. They're the ones who are really pushing things forward. And to be great at that, you need you know, need a lot of imagination. You need to not be held back by what is possible and what's not. And that takes a very different way of seeing the world to somebody who's great at running the trains. So people who are great at running the trains are folks who are fantastic at getting things done. They are extremely organized. They know, they can see the steps that need to be put into action to get to a particular vision. They can see 10 steps ahead when nobody else can see that. They're the folks who are great at, at getting you to the place you need to be. They are amazing at managing teams. They are fantastic leaders. They are great at getting consensus. They're amazing at planning and executing on the stuff that needs to be executed and, and got out into the world. And the thing you find with those folks, again, is they, when they're playing to their strengths, they are incredible people to have on your side. And people who are laying the tracks, people who are running the trains, make a, and of course, make an amazing combination. And what I find often with pretty much the first time CEOs that I work with is they are often facing an existential crisis because they're not great at both of these two things. They feel that a CEO should be great at both of these things. And, you know, there are exceptions of people who are great at both these things, but typically it's playing about playing to your strengths. Which one of those two are you better at? Which one of those are you more drawn to? Are you much more of a laying the tracks kind of person? much more of a running the trains kind of person. If that's you and you know which one you are, then you can build a team around you that complements you in that regard. Amazing laying the tracks people often get great COOs who are amazing at running trains and vice versa. Folks who are great at running the trains can bring in experts, can bring in support, can bring in ideas people, build whole teams around that that are fantastic at laying the tracks for them. It's about knowing which one you are and building the team around you to support you in that endeavor. Because again, you're nothing without the follow through. You're nothing without the initial idea. You need both of those two things to be a successful business, a successful leader in the modern world that we're in now. So which one are you? Add it in the comments down there below. I mean, do you think I'm right? Is it possible to be both of these things? Can you only be one? Can you learn one? Can you learn the other? Are you drawn to both? Let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Are you great at laying the tracks or are you fantastic at running the trains? I want to hear about you.